Right, this is <clears throat> year 10 triple again. Decomposing carbonates. What I've got here, I've got a boiling tube. In the end of the boiling tube, I put copper carbonate for this demo. And we've got a delivery tube and a stopper. And that's going into lime water, which is in this boiling tube here. And I'm going to heat up the copper carbonate with a Bunsen. And I'm going to time how long it takes for this copper carbonate to decompose. Now, when it decomposes, copper carbonate will make carbon dioxide gas. Carbon dioxide gas will bubble into this lime water and I time the time taken for this lime water to start changing milky. Okay. Turn the Benson on. Start timing. And you can see bubbles appearing now in the lime water already, but these are just bubbles of air from the tube. That's the decompose. This will start to turn milky. And as it starts to turn milky, I knock. I will stop heating. Right, it's starting to turn milky, but I take the tube out first, then I stop heating. Now, the reason for this is we don't want to get sucked back from the lime water going back into the hot boiling tube. So the time taken for this lime water to turn milky is recorded in your table. And you can repeat, or you would have repeated, we've just done copper carbonate. You'd repeat for calcium carbonate. You'd repeat for sodium carbonate. And you'd repeat for zinc carbonate. And the results would be copper carbonate was 11 seconds. Zinc carbonate was 32 seconds. Calcium carbonate was 48 seconds. And sodium carbonate was over two minutes and we stopped timing that. So write those into your booklets. But the copper carbonate decomposed faster than the zinc and the calcium and the sodium carbonate.